I'm going to try to show this first on my iPad. So this is the Mokobo Fusion keyboard. And it has this nice attached, which you can't unattach it, cover. It's nice and soft. But what's unusual about it is it's actually a built-in stand. So you can actually fold it like that. And then you have... A stand for your device. So that's nice. Now what you want to do is I've got my iPad here. I put my iPad on there and I've already paired it with my iPad. With it connected you can hit the function key and the OS key which is the F12 key to make sure that it is in iOS mode because it can be used with um, Android and a Mac in addition to iOS. Now I can use the function key to go back home so that works and you'll notice that there is a space bar here that has a button in the center. Now this button is actually like a left mouse click. So this section over here by default is set up as the touch touch area and as you can see maybe you can see it as I am moving my finger around there's now a cursor on the screen right there change the background to be a white background wallpaper let's customize this there we go let's make it a white screen say done let's go back home again all right, now, if I start moving my finger around, you should be able to see this mouse right here. You see that? Okay. So we know that that works. Now, so I could put my cursor on the Feedly icon, and then if I press this button, like I told you, it will activate the app, just like I, a mouse click. I can also... Let's go back here. If I put my cursor on there, I can tap in that area. Now I'm just lightly tapping. I'm not tapping hard enough to activate a key press. I am just using just a light touch. I can go back to the home screen. I could bring up Discord. Just lightly tap it. Now we're in Discord. So everything like that works. Let's go to an a, a um, website like the Gadgeteer, right? So I can go up here. I can make sure that I'm on the home page of the Gadgeteer, just like that. I can use two fingers to lightly scroll up and down. So that's cool, all right? And since I am in Safari, I can use a two-finger um, gesture to, to zoom in and out. At least that, there it goes. It's not, it doesn't work every time. Can you see that? It's kind of awkward. I just zoomed in, and then I got some other screen here, or um, pop-up. It doesn't work the best, but it, it can work. It's just not, oh, it takes some finesse and it can be frustrating. And that, that gesture, the two finger pinch, along with the scrolling and just moving the cursor are about the only ones that I can get to work. In the instruction sheet, it will give you several gestures that you should be able to use for the iPad. Here are all the gestures right here. The scrolling works. You should be able to search or switch web pages by doing this two finger tap with or two fingers with a movement like that. So if I try that, I've got two fingers here and I kind of try to move up and down. What's it's a, like a little bit of a, a swinging 
slide. It's not, it's not doing anything. So let's see. Let's try another one. Show the dock. You're supposed to tap three fingers here on the dock. So just these three fingers. If I tap, it's supposed to show the dock. Let's see if it happens. It doesn't do anything. Whoop, oh, there it did it. Did you see it? No, there it did it. But again, it is not, it is hard to do. And I am tapping in the right area here. And it's not there. It just, it doesn't work very um, accurately. Apparently this little gesture, which is four fingers sliding looks like down is supposed to let you go home so that would be all four of my fingers here sliding down it looks like a like a C slide and yeah that's not doing anything so that again I can easily move the cursor I mean if you could see that you zoom in so you can see that I can, with one finger, see, that's my one finger, and it's easily moving the cursor, and I can even tap on that link, and it will go to that link. So that works great. But other than that, and scrolling with two fingers, I see even sometimes that doesn't want to work. I am trying to scroll right now. I'm trying to scroll. Oop, and it's just it's just hanging up. Let me try to zoom out here so you can actually see what I'm trying to do. I'm using two fingers and I'm trying to scroll and it's not doing anything. But if I use one finger, it is easily moving the cursor. Two fingers, which is supposed to make, let me zoom, or not zoom, scroll up and down in the page. Yes, yeah, it's not doing anything. So that's the iPad. Let me switch over to the iPhone, and I can show you that it's about the same experience. So I'm going to turn off Bluetooth. I'm going to get my iPhone. I'm going to unlock it. doesn't want to let's try to I had the thing done wrong the little stand all right so let's do this I need to turn on accessibility so let's zoom in here I'm gonna turn on accessibility which means I have to go to the general nope not the general Go down to accessibility, scroll to the touch, and turn on assistive touch. All right, with that turned on, let's then switch to the iPhone, which I had previously paired by clicking on, I think, the number one here. Let's see if it'll say that it's connected. Um, yes, it's connected right now, so I should be able to use my, yeah, I can. I've got a black screen here, which might make it hard for you to see it. So, let me see. Can I turn that off real easy in the settings? Uh, let's see, wallpaper. Let's customize this. Let's turn it on to white. All right, whoop, done, okay. Okay, so now I've got a white wallpaper and let me zoom in so you can see. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now you should be able to see the cursor, the gray dot right there moving around. I can go into the app store, boom. 
just brought up the app store now to get back to the home screen there this doesn't even show iphone gestures in this little booklet so it, they don't really work so you have to use the f keys and that works fine and let's bring up a um web page let's go to the gadgeteer the best web page in the world and now let's use the two fingers to zoom or scroll up and down and it works it's a little it's a little herky jerky <laughs> as a technical term let's see if i can zoom i can but again it's not the best experience really but it does work that gesture does work but i can't get any of the other gestures to work here on the iphone and but you can click on a link and it'll go where you want it to go uh, but you will need to then use your hand your finger to go back if you want to it works great as a keyboard uh, let's just um start a note here it works fine as a keyboard you know a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy lassie lazy dog now i am noticing that sometimes my thumb hit this key instead of the space because it's just i don't know it's just the way i type testing but actually it does work as a space when you're typing it only switches to a select when it knows you're moving around so let me see let me try to get on there it's really hard to see because it's a black screen because i like dark mode yeah, it, it knows the difference. It knows what mode you're in, which is cool. So the Mokobo Fusion keyboard is interesting. I do like the built-in stand, which is the case. I like that it's thin. For typing, it is just fine. I like that it has a dedicated row of function keys. That's great. And the touch controls, which I'm still, I'm touching this and I can see on my iPhone screen that it is still moving the cursor around, you know, to scroll and to select things. It's cool, but I think it's more of a novelty because it just doesn't work as well as pairing with a mouse. If, or if you have, if you have an iPad, you know, you you can't go wrong by saving your money and getting an Apple Magic Keyboard because that keyboard, which is what I use, you know, it is a real keyboard as far as it has a trackpad. And there are other ones on the market, but I just prefer this one. Uh, it just works a lot better if you want that kind of functionality. So... If you want an interesting mobile keyboard with some touch features that maybe you could get to work um, better than I could, but I don't see it working that well. Maybe it needs a firmware update. Uh, this one is, it's, it's a compelling gadget. But for me, it's just not working out. So that's the Mokobo fusion keyboard i hope you enjoyed this video if you did consider giving me a thumbs up and i will see you again later